Hello good people of the internet and welcome back to Dishonored. Um, I made a couple of changes, um, none that I really need to speak in much depth about, just I've uh, made some uh, adjustments to recording levels and everything else, um, just general housekeeping. Uh, seems to have taken quite well so I'm going to hold that there. Um, just going to do the looting I can see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and listen to this. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 41. In which I bed two of the Boyle women, and only miss the third by virtue of some inclement weather. Hmm. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice, and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Confound these interruptions. <laughs> Dude's got ambitions. Don't mind me. I thought they were chatting. Hmm, never mind. I thought I could drink from that sink, obviously I can't. Um... Nothing, apparently. Let's go and see to Emily. I just heard how that sounded in my head. Let's go and see how Emily is doing in her new room. Hmm. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there in the city. Yes, I do. I did a little bit of uh, reading up. If you, if you can read that if you want. I think it has some bearing on uh, the future of the uh, game itself. Uh, the GCR Golden Cat. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates, instead of a cloth napkin, I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs, instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Yeah. Make do with what you've got. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? 
She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. She, she sees, sees more than, than she's, she's telling. telling. Young Lady Emily. Ooh. Poor Emily. Her, her childhood, childhood is lost. lost. She, she has become, become a pawn in the games, games of men. She, she was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk, calm with stories of magic and sea fairy, all to keep her sane in a time of turmoil. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. She clings to her childhood things, but they bring her only grief. She sees more than she's oh, telling you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Lady Emily. Anything else? Little Emily. Someday soon an empress. But only an exhausted child at the moment. She, she is Calista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. city. Poor girl. She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. Don't worry. Right, uh, I think that's pretty much all we can do right now, other than to go to bed and sort stuff out. Ooh, ooh. Lord Pendleton's reward. Yeah, just go to one of your mines. <laughs> uh, empty bottle. Um, oh, sleep darts. All oh, the sleep darts. Yeah. How many have we got? Oh, one. Ammo. Eight. So, oh, I needed those. Good. At least I don't need to buy too much more from um, Chappy McCappy. Right. Interrogation. Get some rest. So cool is unconscious. Right. Okay, so we're going to interrogate Sokolov and then move on to doing something else. As soon as we've done this, I think I, I might make this its own part, um, just, just the interrogation itself. Um, Corvo, wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Remember what the heart said about Piero? Uh, about umpteen parts ago. Right. Oh, cool. Lifestyle recordings uh, uh, for <laughs> actual market research call, <laughs> but um, yeah, what I meant to say was, uh, do you remember the um, the notes or the information that the heart gave us about Piero a little while ago, um, which was that he occasionally did that. Attention Dunwall citizens, the Ascendancy, sir. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. <laughs> the tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Yes? Uh, I'd rather you didn't spy on, spy on Piero. Who you watch in the bathtub is none of my concern. Um, <sighs> I 
Yeah, go for that one. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. Yes. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Leave. Hmm. Well, hello. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? <laughs> Maybe you'd like company. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's just go for that one. I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? Uh, shall I open it? Attention, Dunmore. I've read that. I've read that. Uh, be aware that looting of evacuated that. areas is a um, serious offense and good. will be summarily punished by yeah, officers of the law. Nice. Display your pride in Dunmore She's actually by respecting in her the property wow. and rights of others in these trying times. And preserving the timeless beauty okay, of our Okay, what I was going to say before I was interrupted by the phone call I just had, <laughs> sorry about that, was um, the um, the paintings that uh, Emily does, um, I think they change, because uh, I, I did a little bit of research um, when I first played the game, and if you go for High Chaos, the paintings uh, change and become much more dark. But uh, if you go low chaos like this one is, and practically ghost, it, it would have been a full ghost walkthrough if not for that first um, surprise um, meeting of those two guys outside Griff's shop. Had that not happened, it would be a full um, full ghost walkthrough. But you can't get everything you want, unfortunately. Here is Pierre, and he's up there. Piero Joplin, I require do a bit my of shopping. services. Speak to Sokolov, and I think I'll, my shop. I'll do the interrogation, and before I go any any further, that'll be this part done, probably. Ooh, King Street Brandy. Let's see what upgrades we got available. Now, um, even though I have no intention of using it at all, um, I'm going to be getting a lot more cash because I've, I've basically got all the upgrades I need. So the only thing I'm really going to be buying are the occasional sleep darts. Topping up the crossbows because you never know when you might need them. But what I think I will do is um, upgrade the, the pistol, even though I don't use it, so as you guys can see what the upgrade looks like, like I did with the um, crossbow. So uh, currently that's the bog standard pistol to the left. Um, so it looks well just like a pistol should do. Uh, speak you require to my unique services. We can quickly return to my shop. Um, just let me see what we got. Uh, unfortunately it's going to have to do that every single time. So we buy that. That opens up all the others. Um, and creates the pistol to let's just stick that there for a second so you see not a great deal has changed see, uh, it's lost the blue glow that's for sure um so there's no more whale oil there you require my unique services we can quickly return to my shop yes i want to see your shop unfortunately i'm gonna have to go through that every time that's gonna get old really quickly so there's Reload, uh, pistol magazine. Uh, let's take the accuracy first. The magazine. Uh, 600. So that's going to be uh, 600 as well. Uh, so let's put the sights on. Ow. You require my unique services? I like to see you this, this kind of thing. return to so. my shop. Uh, 
There's a pistol magazine and the reload. As done. Well, you can see the reload mechanism on the right side, the added to. It's got, so it's got a double shot now. Cool. Um, any other manipulations to the pistol just tend to add sort of more stuff to that, so. so you require look. my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Let's see what you got. Uh, that's gonna have three. Oh. We're gonna hold off there. Um, listen to this. What will I say when Sokolov has passed at his funeral? Something like this, perhaps. Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my agile brain and youthful energies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his way. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. Okay, that guy does not like Sokolov. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Okay. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat with the military nice. her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Okay. I saw loot, so we're gonna take it. This rebel, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. I could use a drink. If you've taken the other option and actually released the rats, that's uh, high chaos, uh, which, of course, we're not going for. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, 
I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Uh, there's a potential eye. I'll take the brandy. So yeah, that's that's how you do it low chaos. Not the swill to be found here, but the fine spirits. King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. Uh, where did that go? <laughs> I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. Oh, that painting. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind awesome. fade. Now, as you can see, a book. Red. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor. Is that guy I'd always like drinking? You. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Okay. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh... Mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. <laughs> Very well. Uh, let's just check our inventory, make sure that we've got absolutely everything. Uh, so two runes, which we can get nothing with because we're going for five. We've got two agility. We can get Ben time, but like I said, the way that we play, or the way that I play, um, I don't tend to use any of them at all. Uh... Yeah, we got everything. Okay, on we go. Royal right. costume ball. Um, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Right, take me to the boy of the state. So, 